Bottom. Good afternoon. Say hi, Chef Robles. Welcome to uh, Los Angeles Straight Tech Kitchen. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a uh, uh, filet of salmon. And so I just wanted to show you guys uh, real quick uh, filet of salmon. And uh, then we'll talk a little bit more about making grab locks or smoked salmon or whatever. So I'm gonna, hopefully uh, we can see everything right there. You can see my hands. Uh, we have a fish. The way we choose a good fish is you want to have some clear eyes. You want to look at the gills to make sure that the gills are bright pink. Uh, you want to give it a good sniff to make sure it smells like the sea. All right, not like low tide, right? And then uh, you want to kind of sacrifice the towel. And if you're going to keep the skin on, you can actually scale this right now. This one actually came in already scaled, so that's beautiful, right? Anyway, so you want to get rid of most of the uh, moisture because that's going to make your knife slip. So you want to be safe and, uh, and, and go ahead and do that uh, and dry it off really well. We're clean, neat, organized. Um, have a bucket of sanitizer solution nearby as well so you can, all right, so we'll do that. Anyway, um, you want to have your knives. I have some, uh, some knives available here, chef's knives, uh, French knives, all right, and so we're going to have some knives available. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose one, get it nice and sharp. All right, uh, go ahead and put an edge back on it. All right, and um, wipe it off a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is, I wanna come in from the behind the head right here. Uh, there's a little piece of muscle right behind the head, and you wanna come in right behind that gill bone, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go straight down, and I'm gonna go in on a quite little bit of an angle, and I'm gonna stop when, when there's resistance. That's the, uh, the, the backbone. So then I'm gonna cut, pull up, and cut right through the, right through the belly. See the belly here? So I'm gonna cut right through the belly. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a turn and I'm gonna come right along the back, all right? Now, as I'm going, I'm pushing down with my thumb and I'm pulling with, using a sawing motion and I'm going all the way down the length of the salmon itself. And if I do it right, I should cut this dorsal fin right in half, all right? And uh, so I'm gonna go and straight down. Now I'm pushing down and I can feel the backbone against the knife. So again, you want to use that feel, come straight down, located right inside the belly. Again, I'm cutting that dorsal fin right in half. And I'm just going to come straight down, keep it, you know, take it slow and just work your way all the way down the fish, making sure that you keep as much meat as possible on that filet. All right, a good a good fish butcher will save you thousands of dollars a year in, uh, in, in wasted fish, right? So once you flip this over, now notice we have very little meat here. You can actually notice the, the, the bone right the, underneath there. Um, if you wanted to, you could actually take a little, little spoon and scrape that, make your, um, you know, um, your spicy salmon for your, your sushi station or whatever. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna flip it over and do exactly the same thing on the other side. To come in right underneath that head, right through the belly, just like that, and then make a turn, and then run right along the bone. Run right along the bone, all the way through. Right along the bone, all the way through. All right, and then flip this over. Got a little bit connected still. There we go. All right, now I have my two sides of my fillets here. All right. Notice how every. All right. Now notice how I have very little meat left on the bone here. Okay. Put this aside. And now I'm going to clean up my fillets. The best way to clean up the fillet is to just kind of run around the outside. And again, I'm gonna keep the skin on on this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come in. I, I wanna feel if there's any bones up here, I'm gonna remove that. Okay, and then I have some belly bones down here, like this, all of these belly bones are here. So I'm gonna do a long swooping motion like this and come underneath those belly bones. There we go, run underneath those belly bones right there. Long swooping motion. Again, wasting as little meat as possible, right?
And again, you can go ahead and scrape this. Uh, you can use this for uh, making the salmon terrines or, or whatever, right? So don't throw that away. You're going to use that. And so now we have a beautiful filet here. What we want to do now is we want to feel the pin bones that run, run, down the, run down the middle of the... Right? So then I'm going to take these fish tweezers here and I'm going to come in and pull and, and catch. So you can actually see them. You can also feel them. So you can see those little pin bones coming out right there. See that? You don't want to eat those. We're going to come right down. And just pull all the pin bones out. And I'm gonna save these because I'm gonna be making some grab locks out of it. We're gonna make an, an, um, a ginger grab lock, kind of like an Asian grab lock. Um, grab locks is a type of cure where we're actually not gonna cook the salmon, we're just gonna cure it for about 72 hours under refrigeration. So um, we're gonna show you how to do that on another video. But I just wanted to uh, show you the filet. All right, so we have the filet. So you want to hold on to those pin bones. All right, clean up the filet and uh, do the exactly exactly the same thing on the other side. So again, I'm not going to be redundant on the video, but I just wanted to show you that you can have a beautiful filet of salmon. Uh, you can cut this. You can take the skin off. Uh, you can cut this into portions if you want. To take the skin off, let me just show you really quick how to take the skin off because I'm going to make ground locks out of only one with uh, the other side, we're going to actually do portioning. So what I'd like to do is just get a really sharp knife. All right. And I'm going to come right underneath the, the tail piece right here. And I'm going to cut that straight down. Then what I want to do is I want to hold my knife against the cutting board and I'm going to just kind of move the skin, move the skin, just like this all the way. I'm moving the skin and the knife simultaneously. See both hands. All right, and then all the skin comes off in one piece, just like this. See, there's no meat at all left on the skin itself. All right, now we can actually take this um, and we can portion it into fillets or, or um, and, and sear it off and, and, and all of that. So anyway, that, that, that's it. I'm going to finish cleaning up the, the rest of the salmon, so we'll be good to go. All right, thank you.